hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials youtube channel today in this video we are going to create a profile card with glassmo fizz design here you can see we have this profile card and this card is partially transparent like a glass and the background behind this card looks blur there's one more effect if i move cursor on this card you can see this card gets tilt because we have added the tilt effect also so we will learn how to create this type of card on your website step by step. So let's start this video. Here in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images. In this folder you can see I have one image for the background and some social media icons and one profile image. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Next I will open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, box sizing and font family that will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In the HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add code in the body tag. So here. Let's create a div with the class name container. Next we will add this CSS for this container. So add this class name in the CSS file and here we will add some CSS properties. In the background image URL I am adding the file path of the image. So it is in the images folder write the folder name images slash file name. File name is back.png. After adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. Now you can see this image in the background. Let's come back to the HTML file. Within this container, we will add another div with the class name card. And in this card, we will add one profile image, write img tag, images slash profile.png, it is the file path. Then we will add the name in h2 tag after that we will add some text in p tag after adding this let's refresh the website again and now you can see this image and name and some text next we have to align all these contents in the center of the web page for that let's come back and in this css file Within this container we will add display flex align item center and justify content center. Now you can see all these contents in the center of the web page. Now let's come back and uh, here we have the class name called card. Write it here with a dot and here in this card we will add width. maximum width will be 440 pixel and color will be white so that all the text will be in the white color text align will be center and let's add some padding border will be one pixel solid and this color code You can see we have the border for this card. This image is too big. So let's come back and here we will add this card. Then write IMG. For this image we will set the width 140 pixel and border radius. It will be 50%. Now you can see this image size is perfect. Next we will add the CSS for the title and description. So let's come back. Within this card, we have the title in H2. So here we will add card H2 and let's add font size of 40 pixel, font weight, then margin from the top. Then we will add the CSS for the text which is in p tag
now you can see this text size is perfect next we will add some social media icons just below this text so let's come back and uh, after this text we will add a div with the class name links within this links we will add a tag that will be anchor tag and in this href we will add the url of the social media profile so here we will add facebook facebook.com and here we will add the image images slash facebook.png so we have added the first image and the link which is facebook.com let's duplicate it and here we will change the link it is for the twitter and image also let's change the third image you can see the social media icons is too big so we have to add the css for this icon let's come back and in this css file we will add dot card dot links and img so for these images we will add the width it will be small 40 pixel border radius will be 50 percent then we will add some margin now you can see the size for the social media icons is perfect next we will add the hoe effect on this social media icons so let's come back and let's copy this one then write hover here we will add the background and in this card links img we will add transition background 0 0.5 seconds now you can see hover effect on these icons and if you will click on the icon it will take you to the social media profile link next we will add a button just below these icons so let's come back and after closing of this div we will add one a tag and here we will add a class name called btn and we will add the button text message me you can see this link here next we will add the css for this one so let's come back and here we have the class name called btn write it here in the css file and here we will add the text decoration it will be none display will be inline block and after that we will change the font size and font weight then we will add the background so the background will be white and after that we will add the color this is the color code then we will add some padding border radius will be 30 pixel and let's add some margin 30 pixel from top and 10 pixel from bottom now this button looks good next we have to add the blur effect in the card so let's come back and here in this card we will add the background so here we will add background and we will add the color code it is RGBA 255 255 255 and this one 0.2 so this is the background color code and after that we will add border radius border radius will be 16 pixel then we will add box shadow 0 4 pixel 30 pixel
and after that we will add backdrop filter blur 5 pixel just after adding this css let's refresh the website again now you can see this card looks partially transparent like a glass and the background behind this card looks blurred next we have to add the tilt effect in this card for that we will come to the google and search for vanilla tilt open this first website and here right click and select save link as open your project folder which is card and here we will save this file as vanilla dash tilt.js like this now let me come back to the folder and here you can see we have the html file css file and one more file called vanilla tilt.js next we have to connect this file with our html file so we will come back to the html file and at the bottom just above this closing body tag we will add script src and write the file path so it is file name vanilla tilt.js so we have connected that file with the html file next in this card we will add data tilt that's it after adding this let's refresh the website again now you can see if i move cursor over this card this card gets tilt so we have completed this card with glassmorphism design and tilt effect i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video